Efforts to remember the victims of the massacre could be seen in smaller communities too, such as one in northern Minnesota. Our Brenda Mack tells us more. We need to stand together and show that we are not invisible, that we do exist in, and we're everywhere and this affects us deeply. It was a night of strength and support for the lives taken in an Orlando nightclub Sunday morning. It's been out here for about an hour and a half now, I think. For two hours, a group of Bermidians held a candlelight vigil with a handwritten sign in hand and a rainbow flag to support and encourage the community to stand in solidarity. I just got off work at like 10.30 and I was driving past and I realized what was going on and I thought it was really cool. So I honked and then I got like four or five blocks down the street and then I was like, I have to go back and stand with them. So let's show that I support this and that it's not okay, like this kind of terror is not okay. The event was organized via Facebook. Throughout the night, drivers honked and waved to show love to the movement. It was like weighing on my mind while I was at work all day and just to come find this was a really, it was a sign, you know. And the rain did not stop them. It was a moment to share love and not fear. I was heartbroken for sure and I was angry but also um, it felt good to read other people um, speaking about um, how we need to uh, love one another and really care for one another and that's that that's the positive thing I took away from today even in in light of it being such a tragic event in Bemidji Brenda Mack Lickland News State is also showing support by lighting up the I-35 West Bridge in Minneapolis with rainbow colors. It will remain lit through Thursday. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.